What is up, guys? It's your boy, No Risk, No Premium, back with another episode of the Two Minute Drill. Well, if you're in the Wolf's Wealth community, you completely fucking ate twice calls and puts both IV pumped and both directional moves. Guys, we said on the video yesterday we're going to get a directional move in the morning. Okay. We got the directional move and then we based all day. You had two opportunities. Okay. You had two opportunities. Now take a peek here, real quick. Okay. We'll just go to the, uh, let's go to the 15 minute chart so you can see, right? So you can see just on the spy chart here alone, what did we see? We saw how many rejections here in the pre market. This is where we took our first puts. Okay. And we rode the motherfuckers all the way down where we bought the calls. And we rode them all the way back up. Each play ended up going over. 200% each. I think we had accumulated over 180 to 200% on what actual profit locking and don't really give a fuck what happens then. But then what happens after the directional move, right? See how we based up here. So you could have taken puts and you could have taken calls down here to let some of the IV start juicing again. Okay. Then we had the initial drop. Then we did a whole bunch of nothing sandwich. So what does that mean for the rest of the week? Well, tomorrow, don't forget it. Look right here. Uh, ADP uh, employment report. And then jobless claims, okay, obviously Boltard speaks at 1 p.m., so don't fucking forget it. PMI comes into the market open, so better know that's coming. Then everyone's going to be looking right here at this non-far payrolls, which I personally think is going to actually have us choose a direction for the week. That's my bias. I'll play the market was what it gives me, though. Okay, what could happen, though? Let's take a peek. Everybody and their mom sees what? Okay, they see what they see the same thing. Huge, huge, huge consolidation. You see it right here, the red TTM squeeze at the bottom. But look, everybody has drawn the same chart. It's all over Twitter. You just log in and you'll fucking see it. Okay. <laughs> really just log in and you'll see it. Um, you can kind of see it. I mean, you could draw it however you want, but really, it just looks like we got another really just uh this would probably be a better one to draw like this. Right. There's a wedge, huge wedge forming. What what way does it break out? I don't know, but it kind of looks like we do have a little more room for another day, day and a half to let this thing really just get people chopped up. This market trading in a range is fucking everybody up. If you were to just long, in hindsight, look back, short three, short anything above 386 to 88, long anything from 378 to 380, you'd be in great shape. You'd be in great shape if you were just patient on those trades. So, guys, be patient. Let the market get to your levels. Let the market come into your bid, okay, into your bid. Now, plan for tomorrow. Um, I'd still want to see this 386 level. Need to see the reaction there. You're a trader, not a predictor, and you're not biased. You wait until you see what happens at the level that you have, okay, to make a reaction, you know, just going trading blind. Okay. But something will break, whether it's tomorrow or Friday, it's going to, it can only stay in a, in a range for so long. Okay. I would still take a long at 378. I um, mean, I'd still take a short now at about 370, uh, 385, 86, depending where we open. ADP data and jobless status could take us above or below whatever level, or it could happen Friday with a uh, non farm payroll. As well, I want to talk about levels after this range we get out of, though, just in case they do pull a fucking Houdini and gap us up or down through one of these levels. Look over here to the left. Last CPI print 374, definitely a long, and it was two weeks ago low as well. And I would definitely be taking along at this 370 level as well if we get there. Okay, if we get there, look, 388 would still be a short 390. I would put a balls deep on a lot of SPX calls to take an initial short there as well. Okay, 393 above there as well would be a short for me as well. 390 to 393, I'd probably be looking, honestly, for a pretty decent short swing opportunity. Um, Anything above 390, as long as we don't get back above 400, I think the next leg down could start. So that's what I'll be eyeing any, any February or uh, March puts on a swing put area. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you. Okay, wake up early. Don't do anything stupid, and I'll see you bright and early. Peace.